What if I told you time doesn't move at the same speed everywhere? That the closer you are to a massive object, like a black hole or even Earth, the slower time flows for you compared to someone farther away. This isn't a sci-fi concept, it's cold, hard science. And here's the kicker. This is happening to you right now. The clock on your smartphone ticks slightly slower than the clock on a satellite orbiting the Earth. Your head is aging faster than your feet, simply because gravity is weaker the farther you are from the ground. Sounds wild, right? It's called gravitational time dilation, and it's one of the strangest implications of Einstein's theory of general relativity. But it gets even crazier. Near a black hole, time doesn't just slow down. It practically stops. What does that even mean? If you fell into one, could you live forever in a frozen moment while the universe outside zooms by? And how does this affect our everyday lives on Earth? You're about to find out. This journey through the nature of time will not only change how you see the universe, it might change how you see your own existence. Time. It's the one thing we all experience, yet barely understand. We treat it like it's universal. Seconds, minutes, hours ticking by at the same rate for everyone, everywhere. But the universe doesn't play by those rules. More than a century ago, Albert Einstein shattered our simple notions of time with his theory of general relativity. He showed that time isn't fixed. It bends, stretches, and slows down depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. Think about it like this. The faster you go, or the stronger the gravity you're in, the slower time flows for you compared to someone in a weaker gravitational field or standing still. This idea isn't just theoretical. It's been proven time and time again. It's why astronauts living on the International Space Station age slightly faster than us on Earth. It's why GPS satellites have to adjust their clocks to keep navigation accurate. But the real magic of gravitational time dilation comes to life when we venture out into the cosmos, where gravity becomes so intense that time itself almost breaks down. How did Einstein figure this out? And how do we know it's real? Here's the challenge. Time dilation isn't something we can feel or see in our day-to-day -day lives. But when we zoom out to the cosmic scale, it becomes impossible to ignore. The closer you are to a massive object, the slower time moves for you compared to someone farther away. This effect is tiny on Earth, but monumental near extreme gravitational forces. For instance, near a black hole, time slows down so much that a single hour for you could equal hundreds or even thousands of years for someone far away. This creates a paradox. If someone watches you fall into a black hole, they'll see you freeze in time, never quite reaching the event horizon. But for you, time seems to move normally until you're crushed by unimaginable forces. How do we make sense of this? And what experiments have scientists done to prove this mind-bending concept? The story begins in 1915 when Einstein introduced his theory of general relativity. The key idea? Massive objects like planets, stars, and black holes warp the fabric of space and time. Imagine placing a bowling ball on a trampoline. It creates a dip, and smaller objects roll toward it. This is how gravity works. Massive objects bend space-time, and that curvature tells objects how to move. But Einstein realized something even deeper. Time itself is part of this fabric. The stronger the gravitational pull, the more stretched out time becomes. Near a black hole, time stretches so much that it practically stops compared to the rest of the universe. This isn't just theoretical, it's been measured right here on Earth. In 1976, an experiment placed a super accurate atomic clock on a rocket and sent it 10,000 kilometers above the planet's surface. When the clock returned, it showed that time had moved faster for the clock in space than for one left on the ground. GPS satellites, orbiting 20,000 kilometers above Earth, experience weaker gravity and move faster than we do. If their clocks weren't adjusted for gravitational time dilation, their navigation signals would drift by about 10 kilometers per day. That means your GPS would lead you miles away from your destination without this correction. Now let's take this concept to the extreme, black holes. A black hole's gravity is so intense that not even light can escape its pull. Near the event horizon, the point of no return, gravitational time dilation reaches its peak. Imagine you're watching a friend fall toward a black hole. From your perspective, their movement slows down as they approach the event horizon. Their clock ticks slower, their speech becomes stretched out, and eventually, they freeze in time. But from their perspective, they continue falling normally, unaware of what's happening to their image outside. Time dilation even creates paradoxes that seem straight out of science fiction. One famous thought experiment, the twins' paradox, imagines one twin traveling near the speed of light while the other stays on Earth. 
When the traveling twin returns, they'll be younger than their sibling because time moved slower for them during their journey. This isn't just a thought experiment. It's a real effect we've measured in high-speed particle accelerators. The ultimate realization is this. Time is not a universal constant. It's relative, flexible, and deeply intertwined with the fabric of the universe. What does this mean for the big picture? It means that time, as we experience it, is just one version of reality. Near massive objects, time slows down so much that it opens up wild possibilities. Could you travel into the future by sitting near a black hole? Could an advanced civilization harness this effect to outlast the universe itself? And what does this say about our understanding of reality? If time isn't fixed, what else in our universe isn't as it seems? Gravitational time dilation isn't just a quirky cosmic fact. It's a glimpse into the strange, elastic nature of reality itself. From the ticking of your watch to the frozen moments near a black hole, time flows differently depending on where you are. Einstein's theory of general relativity showed us that the universe doesn't follow our intuition. It's far stranger, far more fascinating, and far more interconnected than we ever imagined. Time, once thought to be universal, is anything but.